don't know. Again, don't be afraid to create a prototype. Don't think you need to have the end result. The prototype will turn into the final production. If I was to bring a bunch of kindergartners in here and hand them a bunch of spaghetti and say, build this, do you think they're going to sit there and analyze the whole spaghetti and take? No, they're going to sit there and they're going to start working and getting it done. Now we may sit there and we kind of analyze it. But who might have a prototype done first? The kindergartners. So going back and thinking about what we did as kids can make success. There's actually been studies done on those type of prototypes because we don't want to be too analytical. Restart. I'm going to leave you with this. What legacy do you want to leave? When you walk out of your business, your organization, your company, your teams, your families, what's the legacy do you want to be remembered for? Do you want to be remembered for being the cranky old, old person that just came into work, oh, if he's in a bad mood or she's in a bad mood, stay away. <coughs> Their ideas didn't work. When they're gone day, day one, we're going to start fresh. Hey, when they left, they left a great legacy. They tried all these great things. We're going to keep these great things going. We're going to keep this momentum going. Be that positive energy that you're going to leave that legacy for. When you think about it, the eulogies that you've heard about people that have meant something to you. They talk about the time that they spent with people, how well they listened, how important it was for them to be a great person. At a retirement party, if they say, when you retire, what are they going to say about you? It's a good question to ask yourselves right now. If I was to leave my organization today, what would my team say?